Welcome back, friends, to another exciting episode of the ABC of Artistry, where we will explore three new artistic styles. Today, we'll delve into the wonderful talents of Gareth Pugh, Henri Cartier-Bresson, and Issy Miyake. Throughout this video, I will share over 120 prompts with you. If you missed episodes one or two, you can find them listed on my channel to watch anytime you like. In the gritty, industrial heart of Sunderland, England, where the echoes of shipbuilding and coal mining still resonate, a star was born. Not the kind that twinkles in the night sky, but one that would soon illuminate the world of fashion with a light so bright it would redefine the meaning of art. This star was none other than Gareth Pugh. Born on a late summer's day in 1981, Gareth was not your average child. While others played with toys, he was captivated by the world of fashion and design. His mother, a graceful dancer, and his father, a stern policeman, nurtured this creative spark, unknowingly setting the stage for a revolution in the fashion world. Gareth's journey into the world of fashion began at the city of Sunderland College, where he immersed himself in the study of art and design. His talent was undeniable, and it wasn't long before he found himself walking the hallowed halls of Central St. Martins in London, graduating with honors in fashion design. Gareth Pugh's art is not just fashion, it's a statement, a rebellion, a revolution. His designs are a blend of gothic aesthetics and futuristic elements, creating a unique style that is both intimidating and captivating. His collections often feature exaggerated silhouettes, monochromatic color schemes, and unconventional materials like PVC and latex. One of his most iconic pieces is a dress from his spring-summer 2015 collection. The dress, made entirely of plastic straws, is a testament to Pew's innovative approach to design. It's not just a dress, it's a sculpture, a piece of art that challenges the norms of fashion and design. Gareth Pugh is best known for his avant-garde and theatrical approach to fashion. His runway shows are not just fashion shows, they are performances, spectacles that captivate the audience and transport them into Pew's world. His designs have been worn by celebrities like Lady Gaga and Kylie Minogue, further cementing his status as a revolutionary designer. Despite his success, Gareth Pugh remains grounded. He is known for his humility and dedication to his craft. He is also a vocal advocate for sustainability in fashion, often using recycled materials in his designs. In 2008, Pugh was awarded the Anne Dam Fashion Award, one of the most prestigious awards in the fashion industry. This recognition further solidified his status as a leading figure in avant-garde fashion. Gareth Pugh specializes in avant-garde fashion, a genre that pushes the boundaries of traditional fashion and design. His designs are more than just clothes. They are pieces of art that challenge societal norms and expectations. His innovative approach to design and his commitment to sustainability make him a true pioneer in the world of fashion. In the world of Gareth Pugh, fashion is not just about clothes. It's about making a statement, challenging norms, and pushing boundaries. His designs are a testament to his creativity and his commitment to his craft. He is not just a designer, he is an artist, a visionary, a revolutionary, and the world of fashion is all the better for it. In the bustling streets of Cantaloupe en Brie, France, a young boy named Henri Cartier-Bresson was born on August 22, 1908. Little did the world know that this boy would grow up to revolutionize the world of photography, capturing the fleeting moments of life with a grace and precision that would earn him the title of the father of photojournalism. Henry's journey into the world of photography was not a straight path. Initially, he was drawn to painting, studying under the tutelage of Uncle Louis, a gifted painter. However, a chance encounter with a brownie camera at the age of 15 sparked a fascination with photography that would last a lifetime. Henry's passion for photography was put on hold as he was drafted into the French army, serving in World War II. His experiences during the war deeply impacted him, shaping his perspective on life and art. After the war, he co-founded Magnum Photos, an international photographic cooperative, marking the beginning of his career as a professional photographer. Henri Cartier-Bresson's art is a blend of intuition, spontaneity, and precision. His photographs capture the decisive moment, a term he coined to describe the precise moment when the visual and emotional elements of a scene come together in perfect harmony. One of his most iconic photographs is Behind the Gare Saint-Lazare, which captures a man leaping over a puddle behind the Saint-Lazare train station in Paris. The photograph, taken with a Leica camera, is a perfect example of Cartier-Bresson's ability to capture the decisive moment. 
Henri Cartier-Bresson is best known for his candid street photography and his concept of the decisive moment. His ability to capture the essence of a scene in a single frame has made him one of the most influential photographers of the 20th century. Despite his success, Cartier-Bresson remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He was known for his modesty, often downplaying his talent and attributing his success to luck and timing. In addition to his work in photography, Cartier-Bresson was also a talented filmmaker, directing several documentaries throughout his career. His work in both photography and film has earned him numerous awards, including the Hasselblad Award for Photography in 1982. Henri Cartier-Bresson specialized in street photography and photojournalism, genres that focus on capturing candid moments in public spaces. His intuitive approach to photography, combined with his keen eye for composition and timing, has made him a pioneer in these genres. In the world of Henri Cartier-Bresson, photography is not just about capturing images, it's about capturing moments, emotions, and the very essence of life itself. His work serves as a reminder of the power of photography to capture the beauty and complexity of the human experience, one decisive moment at a time. In the land of the rising sun, where tradition meets innovation, a visionary was born. On April 22, 1938, in the vibrant city of Hiroshima, Japan, Isi Miyake came into the world. Unbeknownst to many, this child would grow up to revolutionize the fashion industry, blurring the lines between East and West, tradition and innovation, fashion and art. Isi Miyake's journey into the world of fashion was not a straightforward one. Born to a family of modest means, Miyake's early life was marked by the devastation of World War II. However, these hardships only fueled his determination. After studying graphic design at Tama Art University in Tokyo, Miyake moved to Paris and then New York, immersing himself in the world of haute couture and ready to wear fashion. Isi Miyake's art is a harmonious blend of Japanese tradition and Western innovation. His designs are known for their technological innovation, unique fabric choices, and a style that transcends trends. Miyake's work is not just about creating clothes, it's about creating a new form of expression, a new way of life. One of his most iconic creations is the Pleats Please line, launched in 1993. The line features clothes made from single pieces of high-quality polyester, first cut and sewn together, then sandwiched between layers of paper and fed into a heat press, where they are pleated. The result is a series of garments that are both practical and beautiful, embodying Miyake's philosophy of one piece of cloth. Issei Miyake is best known for his technology-driven clothing designs and his innovative approach to fashion. His pleats please and apoc, abbreviation for a piece of cloth, lines have become synonymous with his name, showcasing his ability to combine art, technology, and fashion in a way that is truly unique. Despite his success, Issey Miyake remains a humble and dedicated artist. He has always viewed his work as a constant exploration of what clothes can be, pushing the boundaries of fashion and design. In 2006, he handed over the design process of his lines to his associate, Naoki Takizawa, so he could focus on research and experimentation. Issey Miyake specializes in technology-driven clothing design, a genre that combines fashion, art, and technology to create innovative and functional garments. His designs are more than just clothes. They are pieces of art that challenge the norms of fashion and design, offering a new perspective on what clothing can be. In the world of Issey Miyake, fashion is not just about clothes. It's about creating a new form of expression, a new way of life. His designs are a testament to his creativity and his commitment to his craft. He is not just a designer, he is an artist, a visionary, a revolutionary, and the world of fashion is all the better for it. If this tutorial has ignited your passion for the intersection of art and AI, please give it a resounding thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, where more awe-inspiring content awaits. Dive into the depths of artistry, explore the myriad of possibilities, and unlock your creative potential. Join me on this extraordinary journey, where art meets technology and imagination knows no bounds. For those thirsty for additional knowledge, tips, and tricks to unravel the mysteries of art and content creation with AI tools, check back soon for new content.